when I was finishing up this cookbook, when I first was, no. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a week. So if you're new to my channel or you don't know what I do for what I eat in a week, I currently track with Weight Watchers or WW and that's how I track my food every week. But what I do for these what I eat in a week is I like to track with my fitness pal as well to kind of compare the macros. So fat, protein, and carbs as well as calories to where I'm at on WW. So to see how many points I'm using in a day if I'm hitting all my macros and calories as well. So if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'm just going to get started. I just got home from the gym. I just had a back day today, so it was a little bit of a struggle. My stomach was just not feeling the best, and I kind of just felt a little bit more weak than normal. So I took it a little bit easy, but I'm still going to make myself a protein shake right now. I'm also feeling really hungry, which some mornings I'm just more hungry than others, and I'm going to go ahead and make some breakfast in a minute too. Today is a busier day for me with cookies. I've got a good amount to roll. I've got about 150 cookies to roll, and then I have to base them, and then I'm also going to try to get them detailed tonight and tomorrow morning. So that is my plan. I may be able to skate today, but other than that, I just have a YouTube video that I'm going to be editing later today. And yeah, just kind of hanging out at home. But for my protein shake, I use one cup of this Silk Unsweet Cashew Milk. This cashew milk is just my favorite. I usually get it at Walmart, but it's pretty much every store that I go to for groceries other than like Trader Joe's and Aldi. But I use a cup for one point. It's 25 calories. Then I used a scoop of this Bloom Blueberry Cheesecake Protein Powder. I had gotten in touch with them and they said it should be in stock soon. So I'm really hoping this month that they get this back in stock because it is one of our favorite flavors and we're running a little low on it. So I have that in here with a banana and then I'm going to add a couple ice cubes and just blend this up. This will be two points for me. So I'm going to have this while I'm drinking this, I'm going to get everything set up to roll the cookies and then I'm going to actually make breakfast really quickly, eat breakfast, then I'm going to roll and then I think I'm going to go edit. So I'll bring you guys along with me and I'll show you what I have for breakfast, but I'm going to go ahead and drink this right now. Okay, so I just finished making my breakfast. I drank my protein shake. It was really good, but I made myself a breakfast bowl. So this entire thing is actually only four points on WW. I have a base of two points of roasted potatoes I just tossed in the air fryer. Then I just scrambled up two eggs with some light Mexican cheese, veggie mix, and Canadian bacon. So two points for the potatoes, one for the cheese, one for the bacon, and this is four points. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. It's also about 307 calories on my fitness pal and about 28 grams of protein. I'm gonna have this and then get to work on some cookies. Okay, so I finished up rolling all the cookies. Now I'm just editing my YouTube video and I'm also gonna go ahead and have a cookies and cream bear bell. I'm gonna have this because I think I'm gonna skate right after this and I'm feeling kind of hungry, but I don't wanna eat my lunch yet. So I'll eat this right now for five points and then skate and then come back and have lunch. Okay, so I just got back from rollerblading and I made myself a quick bowl. This is why it's so nice to have ingredients prepped. I already had the chicken and veggie mix prepped. I just had to make the couscous and then throw everything together. So I made a quarter cup of couscous for three points with a quarter cup of chicken broth. Then I did a good amount of veggie mix under there. Then I had a panko crusted chicken breast left over from dinner the other night. So I tracked that as two points for the panko, and then I just popped that in the air fryer to heat it up. Then on the chicken, I just went ahead and spread a tablespoon of this fresh craving honey jalapeno hummus. I don't know how all the flavors will go together with this, but I was just craving this and it sounded good. So this is the hummus we had open, so I wanted to use it up, but it is one tablespoon for one point, and then I did two tablespoons of tzatziki. This is from Aldi. This is the spinach artichoke tzatziki made with Greek yogurt. So this entire bowl comes out to eight points total on WW, and then it is around 392 calories and it's got 36 grams of protein. Okay, so I've just been working on some cookies and getting my YouTube video posted for the day and now I just made us some dinner. So I ended up grilling because it's really nice out and I had some ground turkey I needed to use and I made us some turkey burgers. So this is five points for the bun. I use ballpark buns. Then I have a turkey patty for zero points, a slice of reduced fat pepper jack for two points, some pickles, and then some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue for zero. Then I also made a veggie mix. So this is green bean, mushroom, and onion. And then I made some veggie bites from Trader Joe's. These are four points for six of them, and we just air fry them. So this dinner is 11 points total. Then it's about 572 calories and 44 grams of protein. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna have my Honeycrisp apple after, and I'll see if I have anything after that. But I just have 
more cookie stuff to work on after dinner. Okay, so dinner was really good. I had my apple and now I have to work on some cookies before I go to bed, but I wanted something sweet. So I'm having a fiber one chocolate brownie. This is 2.70 calories. It's got two grams of protein and six grams of fiber. So I'm having that, but then I also spread on a tablespoon of this Be Nutty Irresistible Pretzel Peanut Butter. So I just did a half a serving, which is one tablespoon for two points. It's 75 calories for that serving, and that'll be it for the day for today. So I ended the day using 33 dailies total on WW. Then I had 1,944 calories total, 52 grams of fat, 226 carbs, and 156 grams of protein. So everything looked good today. I felt like I ate a good amount. I usually feel more hungry on days that I skate, but today I skated a little later, I feel like, so I just didn't feel as hungry. Like I just had lunch right away after skating, so I didn't snack as much today, but I'm going to bed after I work on cookies, then going to the gym in the morning, and and then have some pickups to do tomorrow. Okay, here's the first order that I finished up. This is for someone's wedding favors. It's just their names on circles. She wanted them all to be the same. And then I painted the little and signs in gold. So we're gonna package these up right now. Okay, here is the next order that I finished up. So this was a bigger one. It was 100 cookies for a birthday party and she actually does it for all three of her children. So there were three numbers. We have three, eight, and six, and then all three of their names and then some ice cream cones. Okay, so we're on to day two of my what I eat in a week, and I went to the gym this morning. I had a glute and hamstring focused leg day. It was really good, and now I am so, so hungry. So I made myself a breakfast bowl, kind of similar to yesterday's, but I wanted over easy eggs because I wanted a little bit of a runny yolk so that I could dip an English muffin in it. So I have a light multi-grain English muffin for two points. The eggs are zero points. Then I have two points of roasted potatoes, the same ones that I used yesterday. I have a good amount of veggie mix, and then I have two little turkey sausage links that I cut up. So those are two points. So this entire thing is six points on WW. This will be really filling. Then it's also about 413 calories and it's got 25 grams of protein. So honestly, I might eat this and then make a protein shake right after, but that's my plan for breakfast. I'm also going to go ahead and drink my greens. So today I'm having coconut flavor. I just add one scoop to a glass of water and then I drink that and then I'm gonna eat my breakfast. So I'm gonna have that now. And then I think today, after we get done with cookies and cookie pickups for the day, I think I'm just gonna work on some studying, which you guys don't actually know about yet. So I'm gonna have to go tell you about that, but I'm gonna eat my breakfast first. Okay, so I went ahead and made myself a quick wrap for lunch. This is only four points on WW. So I have a large extreme wellness wrap. I spread on one tablespoon of honey jalapeno hummus for one point, some veggie mix, one point of light mozzarella from Trader Joe's, and then I have a leftover turkey burger for zero points. So this entire wraps four points on WW. It's about 290 calories and 41 grams of protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the air fryer. Okay, I also decided to make myself a protein shake. My wrap is in the air fryer, but I just made this with a cup of unsweetened cashew milk for a point, a scoop of cookies and cream protein powder for a point, one banana and some ice cubes. So two points for this and I'm gonna go ahead and eat my wrap and have this after. Okay, so Adam just got home from work. I made us some dinner and today we're having two ingredient dough pizza bakes. So this is 12 points on WW. It's actually so convenient because now I have all of my cookbook recipes in the WW app and in my fitness pal. So I was able to just look both those up and track them because that's exactly how I made this. I did onion, mushroom, tomato sauce, turkey pepperoni, light mozzarella, and then a nine point serving of two ingredient dough. So this entire thing is 12 points. It's about 500 calories and it's got about 35 grams of protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this and then I'm gonna have my honey crisp apple after and I'll see where I'm at after that. Okay, so wrapping up the day, dinner was amazing. That pizza bake was so good and now I made myself some yogurt. So I have a two point base of Dan and Light and Fake Greek yogurt, just the vanilla flavor. Then I have two points of Kashi Peanut Butter Go Crunch cereal, and then about a half cup or quarter cup of blueberries. That is my yogurt bowl. I'm just gonna mix that together and have it. It's four points. And then also after that, I'm just like have a sweet tooth right now and I already know what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a creamy crisp bear bell. So this will also help me get a little bit more protein in for the day because I had a good workout this morning. And this is one of my favorites. It seriously tastes like a candy bar. The caramel is so good. So it's 200 calories and it's got 20 grams of protein and this is five points on WW. So ending the day today, I used a total of 35 dailies. So I had to dip in my weeklies a little, but I still have 30 weeklies left. 
Then in my fitness pal, I had 2016 calories, 45 grams of fat, 279 carbs, and 164 grams of protein. So I did well with my macros, with my calories, and I'm excited to eat both of these things right now. So I'm gonna go do that. I realized I never explained what I am studying, but I will explain tomorrow for day three. And that's my plan. I'm just pretty tired and I'm gonna be going to bed soon. So I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, so we are on to day three of my what I eat in a week and I slept in today because today is my off day from the gym. So usually when that happens, I sleep in as late as I can. I don't even set an alarm as long as I don't have anything for cookies. But since I got all the cookie orders done yesterday and all the pickups came early, I was able to sleep in this morning. So I slept in for a little bit, then I woke up and took a bath right away. And usually what I do when I take a bath is I do some type of like replying to comments or I did a QA and a on my story. So I just spent an hour replying to different questions for my Q&A on my Instagram story. And now I am super hungry. So I'm making myself a quick breakfast because it's later than normal and I'm going to be having lunch soon. And I'm honestly just more excited about what I'm having for lunch. I think I'm going to do a pizza bowl because I have a turkey burger in there and some pizza sauce and turkey pepperoni. So that might be my lunch. But right now I'm just making two of these veggies made great egg bites. It's three points for two of them. So I'm just going to heat these up in the microwave. And then I'm also going to toast a multi-grain light English muffin. So this is two points. So my breakfast will be five points. And then I'm going to go ahead and probably figure out lunch soon. But I'm going to go tell you guys what I'm working on now. Okay, actually, while my English muffin is toasting, I forgot I wanted to share this with you guys as well. So this is from a follower. Her name is Roxanne, and she has an Etsy store. So it is Roxy's Nest. She makes custom-made 1940 wartime wraparound aprons, and she's got a bunch of other stuff in her shop, but she sent me one, and so I want to show you guys it. Super cute. I love the purple color, but also I got a little SpongeBob on it. So she made me a custom one and I'm super excited about this. I don't even want to use it to like roll cookies in or anything because I don't want anything to happen to it. So super cute. Thank you, Roxanne. And I'm going to go ahead and link her Etsy shop in the description of this video. So go ahead and check it out. Give her some love. And yeah, thanks again, Roxanne. Come here. I actually went ahead and just made myself a coffee. So I used a Quest salted caramel protein shake for three points, a scoop of vanilla collagen for zero points, but it adds 10 grams of protein, and then an espresso pod with some ice cubes. So three points for this. And I'm gonna drink that just while I'm working on studying. So I had mentioned that the other day, and I wanted to explain to you guys what I meant by what I'm studying, because now that the cookbook's done, I'm on to my next thing, which is getting certified through NASM. So that is a certified personal training program. And pretty much it's just going through this textbook, taking the course and getting certified by passing the exam at the end. Also through them, I'm doing the nutrition coaching certification. So I'm doing both of those right now. I'm actually about to get started studying a little bit more right now. I'm on chapter four so far. I think there's like 23, but the first two chapters are just kind of basics. And then it gets more into different specific things that are going to be much more difficult. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also really excited. This isn't because I plan on starting personal training or coaching anytime soon at all. This is honestly because I'm really passionate about just my health and wellness and lifting weights at the gym and getting physical activity and also my nutrition now. And so I want to find a way to educate myself more and also be able to share with others more about certain things because I get a lot of questions even about different like lifting things when I'm exercising and stuff like that. And I just don't always feel so comfortable answering them because I'm not certified. I don't have any type of certification or education in any of these things. It's all just been based off my personal experience. And I think educating myself a little bit further with this will really help me just even more with my content, with my YouTube videos, with Instagram, everything like that, and the content that I share, the things that I'm passionate about. So I'm starting there. Maybe down the line, coaching or training could be something that I do. But for now, I'm just getting certified to kind of get an education on some of this stuff and just learn a little bit more. I'm also honestly a little bit more excited for the recertification. So through the program, you are required to recertify every two years. And that's just with continuing education things. So you can do different courses, you can go to different meetings and like different conventions they have, stuff like that. But I'm excited to do some more courses because they have more that are just a little bit more specific to even like lifting at an older age or lifting and nutrition with eating disorders, different things like that. They have those types of courses. I can also get some of the continuing education credits through college courses. So I may even look into taking different college courses to educate myself about this even more. So 
that's my plan with that. That's going to be my next endeavor that I'm going to be focusing on. I'm going to be doing a lot of studying and I'm hoping I can get through it quicker than it is originally set to be. I think it's supposed to be a six month program, but people can get it done in like 12 weeks or so. So I'm at a good pace right now. I've got a good start and I'm going to get to studying right now. I'm actually really enjoying it. I didn't really like like high school and college at all, but I honestly like the school aspect of it sometimes. I really do like taking notes and when it's something I'm interested in learning, I actually do enjoy taking the notes and like studying the material. And so this has been fun so far and I've been enjoying it and I'm hoping it stays that way, but that's just pretty much how it's going for me. So that's my next thing. I am definitely looking into doing another cookbook already because I just was so fulfilled by doing the first one and had such good feedback and I'm really excited about it. Of course, that means it will be a very long process if I'm just like thinking about it now. I haven't started anything. Well, that's a lie. I have started a list of different recipes that I've been thinking about doing or that we've done recently and really liked and those would be the first ones to go in the book, but that is not anything I'm rushing into. The thing now is that I kind of know how to keep track of things and just do it a little bit more organized so that it isn't as big of a task to create the cookbook at the end. I'm just gonna kind of make it a longer process and do it as I go. So that's my plan with that. And honestly, one thing when I was first finishing up this cookbook was that I wanted to be trying new recipes and posting them on my YouTube channel and on Instagram and stuff. But every time I'd post them, then I would get a question like, is this gonna be in your cookbook? And that just really started to stress me out because I didn't wanna keep having to add more to this one I wanted to be able to like get this one done and start the next one so now that that one's done and out I already have plans for the next one I've got the ideas in my mind and I'm really excited to start sharing some new recipes on YouTube I've had a few videos planned in my head for a while now that I've been wanting to do and now we can actually continue with them because it'll be some new recipes so I hope that all makes sense but anyway I'm gonna get to studying right now I'm gonna drink my coffee I need some caffeine and today's just kind of a low-key day with just studying because yesterday was pretty busy and tomorrow's gonna be another busy day so trying to take it a little easy today but that's my plan okay for lunch I went ahead and made myself a pizza wrap actually we didn't have any rice prep so I decided a wrap would be just as good so I have a two point extreme wellness wrap then I did two points of light mozzarella one point of turkey pepperoni a 99% lean ground turkey turkey burger and then some veggie mix so this entire wraps five points I'm gonna wrap it up and air fry it for about 10 minutes I'm also gonna have a banana for zero points and then a bag of pitos for one point. These are 70 calories for the bag. I also have the leftover pizza sauce from yesterday's pizza, so I'm gonna dip it in that when it's done cooking, but that'll be zero points. Okay, so I had just been studying for a little bit and then I felt like I was sitting for a really long time. It was like hours in a row where I just didn't move. And so I wanted to get outside and get some fresh air. So I actually went and roller skated and that felt really good. I'm glad I did it, but now I am so hungry because I didn't end up having a snack before. Usually the days I have a protein coffee, it really does keep me fuller longer and then I kind of forget to eat more. So now I'm really, really hungry, but I went ahead and made us dinner. It's 10 points total. What I did is I made us some tuna noodles. So I used six points of Barilla Protein Plus Rotini. I used one point of light mayo and three points of reduced fat cheddar cheese. I also added two cans of tuna and some veggie mix. So then in my fitness pal, the meal's about 514 calories and it's got 53 grams of protein. So I'm excited to eat this. I'm going to go ahead and divide this bowl for both of us and then we're going to eat that. I'm going to have my honey crisp apple after for zero points and then I still have a decent amount of points. I think I still have like six or seven points left for the day. So yeah, I have seven points left. So I might have something else after this depending, but I know I'm out of yogurt. So I don't know what I'll be having, but I'm going to eat this now and I'll be back. Okay, so I am wrapping up tonight with a yogurt bowl and I also added something extra today. So I have two points of Dan and Light and Fit Greek vanilla yogurt. Then I have about a half cup of blueberries, two points of Kashi peanut butter Go Crunch cereal, and then I also cut up a fiber one chocolate brownie. So I've never done that before, but honestly it just sounded good. I keep craving the chocolate brownies and I thought it would be good in the yogurt. So the yogurt's actually six points today, but I used 30 dailies total out of the 31 that I get every day, and I'm set to maintenance. Then in my fitness pal, I had 1,858 calories today. I had 44 grams of fat, so low on the fat end, 
244 carbs, and then 168 grams of protein. So I did really well with my protein today, and I feel good. I'm excited to eat this right now, but I'm also feeling pretty full from dinner. So that wraps up day three, and I will be back with day four tomorrow. Okay, so I'm starting day four of my what I eat in a week. I'm letting the dogs out right now, but I just got back from the gym. I had a shoulder and chest workout, and it was really good. Okay, the workout ended up being shorter than I expected, but it was still a good one, so I'm glad I went and got it done. And it's already like sunny and warm out right now, so I'm actually gonna go rollerblade around my neighborhood for a little bit. I usually do about 45 minutes, and then I'm gonna come home and I have to edit my YouTube video and work on some other stuff. But I thought I'd show you guys the garden really quick too to give a quick update. Okay, so originally I had put two zucchini plants in each pot and I decided that I wanted to do them each separately. So I actually went back to Menards and got four more pots. So I added two on this side. Those all have zucchini plants in them. There is one that has two. We're gonna test it out. But I did add the pots over here and then I actually switched this around. So if you look over here, that was originally the blueberry bush, but I put a zucchini there and then I decided to do the blueberry bush in a pot by itself. So I got another pot for that. We're gonna see how that goes. So here's a zucchini, that's a blueberry plant, a blueberry and a small one. I might have to move that one too. Then I have the cucumber, another zucchini, which the birds pooped on. And then everything in here is just either the green beans, the onions in the back, or some extra zucchini over here. So this one's mostly peppers and tomatoes, and then more zucchini over here. Okay, so I just got back from skating. It was so nice out and felt really good. My face is pretty red right now, but I made myself a protein shake right away because I was feeling really hungry. So this is two points. It's a point for the protein powder and a point for the cup of cashew milk. I just used the silk unsweetened and I used blueberry cheesecake protein powder. So I did a banana, some ice cubes and that. So two points for this. Then I also just assembled my breakfast. So I made myself some air fryer French toast. I had two pieces of sourdough left from fresh thyme and I actually weighed it out and it came out to three points. Then everything else in this dish, it's just egg, cashew milk, cinnamon, a little bit of this flavor god buttery cinnamon roll topper, some blueberries, and some swerve. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the air fryer and this will be my breakfast. It's only three points for the whole thing and then two points for this. Then I'm gonna take a shower and I have to start editing my video. Okay, so I've just been working on editing my YouTube video that I'm posting later today. I also just had to go run and pick up my Duck a Diet order for the week. So that is the local meal prep service. I got some good things this week. I did burger bowls and teriyaki meatballs and grilled chicken. But anyway, right now I made myself some lunch. So I had some shredded chicken in the fridge that I wanted to use. I have about five ounces, so it's zero points. Then I added some Sweet Baby Ray no sugar added barbecue sauce. So this is also zero points on WW. I added a good amount of veggie mix. And then I added three points of Sargento reduced fat sharp cheddar. So I just kind of like mixed it all in a bowl like this and then I heated it in the microwave so the cheese is nice and melty. And what I'm gonna do, originally I wanted to use these mini pitas and kind of like stuff them, but I realized that's probably not gonna work. So I have these, we got them I think from Woodman's, but they're just mini wheat pitas and I can have five of them for three points. So I toasted some in the air fryer, I have five of them, and I'm pretty much just gonna use them as like a dip and just scoop them out onto here. So that'll be my lunch. So that part is six points total. It's three points for the pitas, three points for the cheese. I also just drank one of these light and fit protein yogurt smoothie drinks. So this is the strawberry banana flavor. It scans as two points, but if you type in the nutrition, it's actually one point, 80 calories, and 10 grams of protein. So I just drank that. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I might have some grapes right after for zero points, and then I'll see where I'm at if I wanna keep snacking or something or how I'm feeling. Okay, I just finished up watching my video to get it posted, and I'm gonna have a quick snack. So I'm having some Quest tortilla-style protein chips. These are the loaded taco flavor. It is 140 calories and 19 grams of protein for this bag. And then I'm also going to have a bare fruit roll for one point and 60 calories. Okay, so I've just been hanging out and I just made some dinner for us. Tonight we have fried rice and chicken from Trader Joe's. So it is their green bean and mushroom chicken. It is five points for this serving, which is half of the bag that I made. And then this is a four point serving of fried rice. I just used jasmine rice and then some of the cauliflower sweet potato rice. And we also are having some bibigo wontons. So we have seven of these for three points. So dinner's 12 points total and it's about 674 calories. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then have my honey crisp apple after and I'll see where I'm at. I still have a few more points left for the day. Okay, so I am wrapping up day four with a yogurt bowl. I have two points of Dan and Light and Fit vanilla Greek yogurt. This time I added both strawberries and blueberries. I did two points of Kashi peanut butter crunch. 
And then I also added three points of this Be Nutty Blissful Blueberry Peanut Butter. This bowl's a little bit higher than normal. It's seven points total on WW, but worth it. I still have some weeklies to use up. I actually have a good amount of weeklies, so I want to dig into those. And I also skated today, so when I feel more hungry, I try to just incorporate a few more things like that. So anyway, wrapping up the day, I used 35 total dailies. In my fitness pal, I had 2,319 calories. So definitely a higher calorie day, and the points weren't like too high. 35 isn't too high for that many calories, but... 58 grams of fat, 279 carbs, and 192 grams of protein. So definitely hit my protein goal and had another good day of eating. I get up early for a leg day at the gym tomorrow, and then it's mostly just YouTube stuff that I have to work on, so I need to plan all that out, but I'll be back with day five tomorrow. Okay, so we are on to day five of my what I eat in a week, and I just got home from the gym. Today I had a leg day, and it was a really good workout. My legs are so shaky, but I'm actually going to go skate right now because it's already 70 degrees out, and if I want to skate, today it's just going to keep getting warmer i might as well just go earlier as it goes on in the summer i try to skate earlier and earlier so usually it's just like right after the gym whereas in the winter after my weightlifting workouts i would just walk on the treadmill for a little bit so the skating pretty much takes place of that so I just want to make a protein shake really quick. I have a couple things to do. I want to make my post on Instagram and stuff like that. And then I'm going to drink my protein shake while I do it. But then I'm going to go ahead and go rollerblade around the block for a little bit. And then we've got some stuff to do today. I've got some YouTube videos to film and we're also doing a snack review. So when I do that, I kind of keep that in mind because like I know that for the snack review today, we're going to be trying protein bars. We actually have like two or three, I think. And so I'm just not going to eat a protein bar right now. I was actually planning on coming home and having a Bear Bell, but then I realized we're going to be trying them later. So I'm going to go ahead and blend up my protein shake. I'm going to drink this quickly. It's only two points on WW just for these two things. And then I'm going to go ahead and go skate. And like I said, we'll be doing the snack review probably for lunch. So I've done that one time before on a What I Eat in a Week. And pretty much what we do is we just track as best as we can. So we're already scanning all the foods we're reviewing anyway because we need to know the point values for them. So usually I scan everything and then I try to kind of guesstimate the serving that I ate. And so I'll show you guys what that is. I won't show you guys the products that we're doing, but I'll give you an idea of about how many points we use and I'll be scanning them in my fitness pal as well. Okay, so Adam and I finished up filming the snack review. That was our lunch and it was actually a couple hours ago. I just forgot to film. So I'm still really full from the snack video and I think that we had a decent amount of food. It was 17 points total. So I went ahead and tracked everything as the serving of what I had pretty much. Everything was one to three points for the serving but it was 17 points total. And I also tracked it in my fitness pal. It came out to about 603 calories. So that was the snack video. I just wanted to give you guys the points and calories that I had for that. And it was 44 grams of protein. So that was a good lunch. It actually worked out well as a lunch. And now I need to figure out what we're doing for dinner, but I'm just filming some videos right now. And then I think I'm gonna work on studying for a little bit and then figure out dinner. But I'm also just trying to stay hydrated and I haven't needed caffeine because I had my pre-workout this morning. I forgot to show it, but I just had a scoop of pre-workout. It's zero points in my water and I drank that as I did my workout. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some videos done and I will be back with dinner. Okay, so I got done working on some stuff and then I just sat in the yard with Maggie for a little bit and enjoyed the nice weather. I got some sun, so that felt really good. But now I'm making us some dinner. So it's kind of an early dinner for us, but we're both pretty hungry. And we don't want to snack more because honestly on snack review days, it feels like we were kind of snacky as it was. So we want to have a meal right now. So I'm making us some falafel couscous bowls. We are using Trader Joe's whole wheat couscous. This is three points for the serving of a quarter cup dry. So we're each going to have a quarter cup dry. It's 160 calories for that serving and it's got seven grams of protein and four grams of fiber. I'm going to go ahead and make that. I just heat it up in the microwave with some chicken broth and that's also zero points. Then we have some leftover turkey burgers. So these are zero points, 99% lean ground turkey. I also have some grilled chicken. This is also gonna be zero points. So we're gonna use both of those meats for our proteins. I have some leftover veggie mix. So we're gonna finish this. Then for the sauces, we're gonna do tzatziki and we don't have much left. So we're each gonna be able to get like a tablespoon, which is one point. And then I'm also gonna finish off this honey jalapeno hummus. So this is also gonna be a point worth of hummus. And then we have some falafel in the air fryer so it is five points for three falafel balls i'll show you guys them when they're done and when the bowl's assembled but that will be five points the entire bowl will be 10 points total on ww it's three for the couscous five for the falafel and then one for the hummus one for the dip 
In my fitness pal, it's about 572 calories and it's got 42 grams of protein. So I'm gonna make this, we're gonna eat it, and then I'm gonna do a honey crisp apple after. I may have a yogurt again later tonight because I have some strawberries, but I'll see how I'm feeling. Okay, I decided to make myself some dessert, so I made a little fruit yogurt bowl, but I used one of these Clio mixed berry zero sugar yogurt bars. So this is 100 calories, it's got seven grams of protein, and it's five points on WW. And then I did some blueberries, strawberries, and fat-free whipped cream for zero points. So that's my little fruit yogurt bowl. Then I'm also gonna have two of these Kodiak cookies. So I have a good amount of weeklies left and I wanna use some up and these are seven points for two. These are the Kodiak chocolate chip cookies. So I'm gonna have those two and then my bowl as well. Okay, so once I'm done eating that, I'm gonna be done for the day. I'm actually pretty full already, but I wanted something sweet and that sounded good. So I ended the day using 41 dailies total. In my fitness pal, I had 1,940 calories. I had 62 grams of fat, 221 carbs, and 155 grams of protein. So looking back at the week, I got blue dots every day this week and I still have 24 weeklies left, which technically it restarts tomorrow. So I guess I didn't fully track on Tuesday, which would probably change that. I think I used some weeklies that day. But anyway, that wraps up my what I eat in a week, five days of tracking with WW and my fitness pal. I felt really good about this week actually. I didn't think I was like too focused on hitting my protein goals and I actually hit them every single day and I feel like it's just becoming like habit with the foods that I eat. It just is easier to get all my protein in and it's always on the days that I hit my protein goal that I feel the most full. So it is really important for me to make that a priority and it does help to track with WW and my fitness pal to just kind of see where I'm at. So now I feel good. I pretty much do one of these every month. So it's one week out of the month comparing and just for these videos, but also for me, it does really help me to stay on track and see where I'm at. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.